Hey Joshua Bardwell, I learned a lot from you and today it's time to give back. Today you're gonna learn something. We'll talk about stator laminations. First, we need to understand why stators are laminated. You already know that we use a current circulating into a coil to produce a magnetic field. This magnetic field then interacts with the magnet to produce a torque that spins the motor. The stator is made of silicon steel because it concentrates the magnetic field. But the opposite is also true. The magnetic field produces a current that wants to circulate inside the steel stator. This current will produce the so-called eddy current losses at the expense of the magnetic field. By laminating the stator core, we increase the electrical resistance of the stator without affecting too much its magnetical properties, and we force the eddy currents to circulate into much smaller paths. For this to work, each lamination must be insulated one from the other. To give you some numbers, I ran a couple of simulations on an Emacs RS2205 motor, 2300 kV, and the results are the following. 0.2 mm laminations account for about 2.2% of motor losses. By shrinking to 0.15 mm laminations, we can increase the power by another 0.9%. And by further shrinking the laminations, we gain another bit of power. But the costs raise exponentially. Shrinking down the laminations brings another problem. As we increase the number of laminations, we have less iron and more insulator, which is not a good magnetic field conductor. In a future video, we'll see what can be done here to improve motor performance. If you liked this video, please subscribe to the channel to help me make more videos like this. Thanks for watching.